What up, everybody? This your boy Goldmine Shorty from Dogmine TV. I need y'all to hit that like, comment, subscribe button for brand new content. And cash, happy boy, bad, probo, M-A-G-P-R-O-M-O. Today we finna talk about Cobra, man. Y'all remember that song, I'm Smiling. I think it was released in like 96 or 97, man. But the boy say he was from West Oakland. And, you know, a lot of people say he was a government informant. You know, he was a... Uh, fed that they put in the rap game, they funded his career to set up, you know, CNH and everybody that was down with the loonies, Drew Down, and that whole circle, man. Even Stone Ramsey, he got jammed up behind this dude. He had to go do 13 years, but, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, we're going to talk about Cobra, though, you know, like right after he put out that song. He said he got hooked on drugs, and he was living on Skid Road. And, you know, he had some mental problems and stuff. And he went and robbed somebody, and he'd been locked up for two decades. But people were saying, man, you got knocked off in Modesto or somewhere. And, you know what I mean, you told that you had some footage on a video of that boy Stone Ramsey committing crimes. And, you know, you just gave the police a wild goose chase and they believed you and they released you from jail or prison, wherever you was at. And you tried to get in witness protection, but you had a case in another city. But, you know, it was really messy. They say his name is Wendell Johnson. I couldn't find the paperwork, you know what I mean? Because they say it might be all wiped out because it happened a long time ago. And this dude right here was a rat. But now he go by Lord Kryptonite, and he say he's staying in 16 bedroom mansion, and you know he done got off drugs. Yeah, but they say he's still working with them people. But I seen him on Facebook, and he done bought him a new drop top. I think it was a Corvette or something. You know what I mean? But he was like saying that he living good now. He off drugs. And you know what I mean? He getting to the bag. But a lot of people say, man, don't go around this dude, man. He a scumbag. He'll swap you out. He wasn't nothing but the feds. You know what I mean? They put him in the game just to uh, knock some people off, you know, on the anti-drug uh, operation and shit like that that the feds had going on back in the 90s. You know what I mean? They gave him the look. And everything. And then when the dudes from East Oakland was like, man, where you from? We ain't never seen you before. He was like, he was from West Oakland. And, you know, he paid 15 racks to get, you know, drew down on the song. It had Otis and Knucklehead on it, too. The dude that used to be down with the loonies. Like, he tried to infiltrate their whole crew. But everybody else he worked with, you know, they started catching charges, too. And you know what I mean? He took a lot of people down, man, in the early 90s. Now he done popped back up on the scene. You know, he say he was in L.A., you know what I mean, living on Skid Road. But nobody ain't seen this dude. But he had a promising career. And, you know, he had an underground classic. I'm sliding. But everybody say, man, that was funded by the FBI, the feds, man. So don't listen to that song. And his new music, Trash, he got some songs that he bust a bought from that website. And he got like Snoop Dogg and all them big names. But I don't think them niggas fucking with this nigga here. Because a lot of people seen that interview and he in the comments on other vi videos talking about who's saying I'm a rat. I did 20 years. Well, he must ain't seen Stone Ramsey interview. With our profit. Well, he explaining what all happened in the man name in this paperwork. But this dude here, man, he a fucked up individual. He say he got on that dope when his daughter died. You know, when she was five years old, she drowned. And that's what got him hooked on that dope. So that's why his mental is all fucked up, peace of mind.